Hello, I'm John Furness. Um, I am a woodworker in uh, Washougal, Washington. I'm uh, totally blind, and I have been since I was 16. And I absolutely love to woodwork. It's something that it fulfills me, and and I'm I'm better at woodworking than anything else I've ever tried in my life. And it it just to take that image in my mind and turn it into a, a real object that any, anyone else can see and touch. It just there's nothing quite like it. How do you do your work? Uh, um, one of the main differences between blind and sighted woodworkers is the way that we measure. And uh, I use a, a tactile measuring device called a rotomatic. I, I kind of wish I had brought it so I could show it to people. But basically, it's a, a precisely threaded bolt that's flat on the top and bottom. And it's got a tab for every half inch and then a wide flange type nut that every full revolution is 1 16th of an inch. And then uh, I've got uh, extruded aluminum extensions, a 6, a 12, and an 18 inch uh, for longer, and then the, the bolt is for your fine tuning. And how much do you do per week? How much do you produce? Um, it kind of depends. Usually anywhere from 7 to 14 pieces, depending on the size. And what, what, what does this do for you as far as building the, the pieces? I, I absolutely love it. I don't know. It's, uh, it, it just kind of completes me. I don't know. It's something that flows out of me and, and I, I just, I love to take that image in my mind and, and make it real. And it, it, I, I can't say how much it means to me that people enjoy my work, that they love it as much as I do. That's, that, that fulfills me very much. And how long have you been doing the woodwork? About 13 years. I uh, learned actually from uh, a, 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 a wood shop teacher at a school for the blind in Salt Lake City, Utah. Not, a, not an academic school, more a place where you learn independent living skills. And uh, I ended up becoming very close friends with him, and uh, I, we, we would hang out after he retired and just would work together. And then uh, he had told me about the Emil Fries School of Piano Technology for the Blind up here in Vancouver, and uh, it, it seemed like the perfect fit for me because I've always been mechanically inclined and I'm a good woodworker. So. I came up here to do that, and then uh, after after things kind of fell through with that for a few different reasons, I, I went back to woodworking, and, and it's been wonderfully successful ever since. Would you mind sharing with us what, how you became blind? Uh, I became blind because I, I attempted suicide when I was 16, and I shot myself, and it, it was... I mean, needless to say, it was a, a, a profoundly life-changing event, and it, it changed me for the better in almost every way it could. I, I am so different and so much better person now than I was then. I may as well have been born when I became blind. Where do you market your work? I market it... Uh, you can find my work on Instagram and Facebook. I, I used to have an Etsy page, but I can hardly keep up with demand for the uh, uh, festivals that we do every year. Uh, we do an open studio tour in May, and my wife and I, she's also an artist. We do an open studio tour in May. Uh, the Washougal Art Fair in August, also the Garlic Festival a week later in August and then the uh, Clark County Studio Artist Tour in November. And uh, we really, uh, that's, that, that keeps us both as busy as we can be really for most of the year.